In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the Y cross concept out of the gun bunch formation in the Indianapolis Colts playbook. If you want to get my entire bunch ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon down in the description below. Now, I think every offense needs five key things. One of those key things is a power play, and this play can be just that for you if you uh, commit to it. It's really, really good. Uh, it attacks man, zone, everything. A power play has to be able to beat man coverage, zone coverage, match coverage, and the blitz. It has to. It has to be a play that you can run literally 80% of the time. And so um, the play that I wanted to show you in, in, in the Colts playbook is this play here, speed dig. I think this play is super underrated, and I think that this play is really good at attacking the man coverage and uh, the man coverage meta. So uh, how do I set this up so that it, it works like Y cross? Uh, really, all we're going to do is we're going to streak that left side receiver, that solo receiver, and then we're going to take the tight end. We're going to put him on an out route. Now, this route to CD Lamb, I'm going to tell you right now, is one of the best routes in the game that nobody talks about. Um, so what you're going to see here is this dig route. It, it's like a rounded, it kind of goes outside and then inside. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is if you motion this dig route out, this is gonna create a little bit better of a variation of it um, for spacing purposes. But what you'll see is when he cuts inside, he almost always is able to get separation um, against man-to-man -man coverage. So again, you know, and, and the other thing about it that I like about it is if the safeties are being influenced vertically, then you'll see here how this rounded route works you see how much separation he gets in the middle of the field just like that right there, okay? So that dig is a really big piece of the Y cross concept. What is a Y cross concept anyway? A Y cross concept is a concept that's become popular in recent years in Madden, but it's been popular in real life forever. It is uh, actually popularized, I think, by Lavelle Edwards at BYU uh, in the 80s or the 70s, something like that. But basically what it is is the Y, which in this case is going to be the slot receiver, is going to go under the Sam and he's going to go over the mic and then he's going to cross across the field. So what you'll see is this is a really good concept for spacing the field horizontally and vertically within the same concept. And as you can see, that crosser is really, really, really good. Now, you can actually create this from almost anything. All you need is a crosser. So like to play PA Reed, for example, you have this really nice crosser. A lot of people like it. It's actually fairly similar to Speed Dig. Um, what you can do is you can put the tight end on the out, the running back on the out, the streak, and then you can take this, this uh, outside receiver and you can put him on a smart routed in just like speed dig and you just motion them out and now it creates that same kind of level of spacing but now you have you know that pa read crosser to go with it so it creates some really interesting dynamics in terms of how it is able to space the field and also how it's able to attack man-to-man -man and zone coverages now another thing that i really like about this is you have this runoff route to the left side to michael thomas if you have the short out elite ability what you're going to notice is he is going to beat press man Pretty much every single time. Now, if they have KO abilities, you're going to have to freeform it out and over the top. But as you can see right there, he's able to at least get that separation. He's going to light up. And this is uh, the short out elite ability, which I think everybody should be running at least on one receiver because of what it can do against press man. You'll see right here, press man again. This time I'm going to freeform it up and over the top. And as you can see, it can literally burn press man coverage. So what they're going to have to do is two, one of two things. They're either going to have to play off coverage or they're gonna to have to put a safety over the top. Now, if they play off coverage, what I like to do with this is we can tag a C route. So basically, instead of running a clear out streak, we're gonna run a clear out C route. And what you'll notice is if I high point this up and outside, you see that it can actually cook man coverage on the left side. This leads me to my next thing that I wanted to show you, which is most people, what they're gonna do is they're gonna to start to put that defender on an outside third. What you'll notice is that if you see that defender backed off, even if he's an outside third, even though outside third is a zone coverage, you'll see that that C route will still clear that out and you still have that little pocket to be able to hit your Y crossing concept. Now, Y cross is actually incredibly effective against a lot of the zone meta that we're seeing uh, start to kind of come to fruition out of cover four, cover three. What you're gonna notice is you're gonna be able to attack the flats on both sides and then you have your cross. Your cross gets in such a soft spot against really any zone defense whatsoever. And what's gonna have to basically happen, it doesn't really matter what zone the opponent is running, they are going to have to take their user defender 
and they're going to have to go guard that crosser. They're either going to have to guard it in the middle of the field, or they're going to have to guard it as it gets across the field. So you see here, they have to go guard the crosser, and that leaves this nice in route in back and behind the zone defense. As you can see, Y cross really is effective for a lot of different things within attacking you know the defense. And as you can see, uh, again, zone coverage, super high level play. Now, I also talked about how Y cross is actually really good against match as well. It can beat match coverage, man coverage, zone coverage. It's basically everything Thing you need in a really good base play or power play what you're going to see against match coverage is this crosser is just absolutely going to cook match coverage over the middle of the field the y cross concept does it again and is able to attack man and zone and if you look really closely at this route uh, from speed dig the, the route is very similar. It's almost exactly identical, if you look at it closely, to the crosser in PA Reed. A lot of people like the crosser in PA Reed. I'm actually just saying complete it and run a Y-cross style concept where you're able to literally attack the entire field uh, within one passing play. You can attack the flat on the right. You can attack the flat on the left. You can attack the middle of the field in multiple ways. And you also are attacking the deep sideline. So you're able to attack a lot of the defenses with multiple routes, which is really the, I think, hallmark of any great play in Madden. I think that the Y cross concept is something you absolutely have to have in your Madden 23 offense. So make sure that you're implementing this out of your formation, whatever that may be. And if you want to learn more about the Gun Bunch offense, make sure that you uh, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. That's where you'll get access to my full uh, offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those offensive and defensive ebooks. Again, links in the description. Ten bucks get you access to everything. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.